what is quantization? Um, I think like, so in a large language model, if there's like one trillion parameters, not all of those numbers are very different, right? It's going to be like 2.01, 2.02. Right? There's going to be many of those like very similar numbers. And so the trick is we just make 2.01, 2.02, 2.03, just two, right? We just like remove all the decimal points and we just make it two. And so now you have like this way to like compress the model and delete all of these like decimal points, just get rid of them. And then you just have like these, you know, small amount of numbers that you can represent. Um, and so the funny thing is this actually kind of works. It does not damage the model in any single way, right? If you like remove the decimal points, the model does reasonably well. Um, but then if you do too much, like if you like try to compress it so much, for example, if you have like numbers one, two, three, four, what are you going to do? Like you need to represent like one, two, three, four as like one number. That is probably not a good idea. So if you just select two as the number you want to represent, you will essentially delete a lot of information. And so that is why you need to do dynamic quantization. So that's where the next thing comes in. Where dynamic quantization allows you to select what is the correct numbers you want to represent and the scale that you want to represent it. For example, if it's one, two, three, four, you don't want to quantize this because it's too different. 